Live from Chicago's NBC5, this is NBC5 News. From your daily coffee to compulsive shopping. We're curbing harmless habits to save you thousands. Stay with us. Do you know how much that daily cup of coffee adds up to in a year? Well, we're about to find out. We're joined by the author of the book, The Soft Addiction Solution. Dr. Judith Wright is here to talk about cutting some of those harmless habits to save you some really big money. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Great to have you here. Thanks. And you kind of have a breakdown of some examples and what they actually add up to, starting with that cup of coffee. It's really easy to get addicted to these kind of things and spending more money than you think. A daily latte can add up to $1,500 a year. Wow. Snack food, just go to the vending machine every day, $500. Little takeout, a couple times a week, look at this. It's like $1,000 for a My single goodness. person. If wow. you multiply by that family, it could yeah. be 4000 And magazines, you just pick one up here and there? Oh, yeah, a couple a month, $500. Cigarettes, even just a moderate smoker, $1,500 a year. Video games, a couple new ones a month, $1,000. And this is what you call soft addiction. It's not like you have to have it, but it's so, you don't even think about it. Well, you don't realize that actually you are addicted to it, and you don't notice, wait a minute, I really have to have that. You don't want to give these things up, and you don't realize the cost that they really are. It's not just money. It costs you in time. Also, it kind of numbs your feelings, mutes your consciousness. It's robbing you from a greater life, so these treats aren't always that helpful for us. But you do have some helpful tips in terms yes. of how to get over it. One of the things, tell the truth. Admit, you know, I'm hooked. I'm into shopping. I'm into, into these things, and I don't really need that. And assess the cost, just like we did right now, but also be more aware of the other kinds of costs, the cost to your time, the resources that you have, how you're using those precious resources. Assess, look at how you're feeling when you're doing this. Are, are you doing the shopping when you're upset or angry or hurt? You're probably avoiding your feelings and life challenges, and there's better ways to meet those. And, if, and find out why. You know, why, what's the why behind the buy? What mm -hmm. am I hoping to get from that? Right. And if, if we realize that, maybe it is that I want stimulation or a treat or comfort or company or feel connected to something, those deeper needs then we can meet by adding activities to meet those needs. And that's where we start to get really satisfied and don't notice the loss of these kind of things. Right. And then you end up adding thousands of dollars to your bank account, which in itself could get addicting. Absolutely, it really yeah. is too. And it adds quality to your life in a way that actually, rather than just feeling deprived without these things, when you're adding things in that really meet those deeper needs, that's the basis of really having a wonderful life. Right. And that's what we all deserve. And those are long lasting too. You don't Absolutely. have to keep on going back for more. <laughs> that's right. right, it's really true. <laughs> Dr. Judith Wright, thank you so much. The book is entitled The Soft Addiction. For more information, log on to NBCChicago.com and search Spending Habits. Alex, back to you. So many things we don't think about. Thank you.